them rack. Y'all wanna stunt and floss on Front Street? The Hulk will tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. You the main vic, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. M Rack TV. Yeah, I just wanna say, um, I don't feel bad for um Lil Dirk at all. Mm. Was he really pushing peace? How was he pushing peace when you got guys from your neighborhood just connected with other guys, they younger guys, still out here listening to the music, doing the stuff that you rapping in the music. Mm. We need to fight evil hard. This is mm. the start of us getting better as people because what about the um, other side family members? Everybody's smoking too and this and that. What mm. if, Did you do something for their mothers? Mm. I'm happy. I'm a young brother myself. I don't even listen to that stuff no more. Where you That's call, all I got to say. Where you calling from, good brother? I'm from Chicago, the south side. Oh, no doubt. All right, good brother. Appreciate you tapping in. Make sure you subscribe. All right, got you. All right, salute. We got the streets tapping in worldwide, but definitely from Chicago, south side, west side. Yeah, this is uh, Mikael, a.k.a. Hebrews in the hood, calling from uh, calling from, from the shy. Okay, salute. I got to know how people from the shy feel about this, man. So talk to me, man. Let's get it. Well, it's kind of close to me uh, in, in a few kind of ways because, uh, like the caller said earlier, I'm also into a lot of mentorship, the anti-gang violence activists because of my past mm -hmm. coming up in the shy. You know, I've been shot a few times or whatever. got put in the wheelchair. Oh, damn. And ironically... Yeah, and ironically, you know, I turned my life over now, you know, uh, waking up to 12 tribes of Israel, so-called Negro or whatever. Mm -hmm. But but before that, you know, uh, Big Dirk, which is Lil Dirk's father, mm -hmm. he, you know, his, him and his whole crew was my ox. Oh, wow. You know, growing up or whatever. Yeah, I remember when he went to the Fed joint, you know, his daddy just got out. He did like 30 years. And, uh, I just think it's real unfortunate because I had plans to do some community work with them because I, I know since his father got out, mm -hmm. you know, he been on a, on a straight and clear. You know, he into the Islam thing or whatever, and he been doing work in the community. So we was going to hook up, you know, get up with Lil Dirk and, and all that, um, you know, to try to put cease to some of this, you know, the little drill rap stuff that's kind of adding to a problem we already had. See, when I get um, but Lil Durk now went away. Well, when Big Durk went away, his father, whatever, with that case, mm -hmm. the set I was from, we was the opposite of them. We mm -hmm. stayed in war with him. We was right next to him. I was a vice lord. You know, they, his father was the GD. Mm -hmm. So Dirk was a little baby. You know, Dirk mm -hmm. was a little baby at the time. And so it's really unfortunate to see that now his father been gone for damn near three decades, man. And mm -hmm. to come home and just see your son for a second and now he's possibly going to be gone for the rest of his life. But I'm going to say this as a lesson to the young brothers listening, man. And this ain't just for Chicago. This this, this all the cities that's, that's falling off into this kill, kill gang. I've been there, man. It ain't got no reward. Mm -hmm. I got over 25 bitcheraries in my house, all homies from my set. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a wheelchair and now I try to just build up things that I, I part um I took part in tan down man and it's it's it really is sad we gotta do better. We really gotta do better because I'm not gonna lie to you and reckon I'm I'm gonna let the other callers get in but I just wanna say this bro and I check you out all the time. I love your show too. Thank you good brother. Um yeah um yeah I'm gonna tell you man it's really unfortunate though because uh when you look at it I was watching them interviews. I keep my eye to the streets, you know, so I don't be out of tune with the youth when I talk to them. It helped already that I got the street cred, the name or whatever, and they see how I changed my life around or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at these interviews and I'm hearing stuff that Dirk's saying. And, and, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out what's coming. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's this whole thing with social media. I just thank God. When we was gang banging and doing all that shooting, I'm thank God that we didn't have social media in the nineties. The nineties was already bad enough. That's when Chicago murder race is at its highest. Mm -hmm. That social media is another demon, man. It could be used for good or evil. And unfortunately, 
you know, our people, uh, you know, we caught up in the murder game, man. Yeah. So I, I just like to say prayers to the victims, family, little pop, and also the dirt. And, and you know, none of them kids ain't got a daddy. And it's just it's, it's a cycle, bro. No doubt, good brother. I appreciate you tuning in. Tuning in, good brother. All right. All right. Keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. Man, All bro. day. Peace. All right. All right. No doubt. Where this bar hit that like button for the God. For the God. Hey, yo, where this bar? That shit that happened with the young boy, Lil Dirk. Son, let the internet get to him with the mm. crashing out with the whole slide for wrong situation. Mm -hmm. Son was so high in echelon, feeding his family, his community in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, he let the people trick them out. That was my, that's my opinion about the situation. Because when Vaughn came up in the game, he messed up dirt relationship with a bunch of rappers and stuff. He was cool mm. with NBA young boy Quando Rondo. As soon as Vaughn came in the game, he dismantled all that. You know wow. what I'm saying? We all and we all coming from the streets. We got hard headed homies. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was mm -hmm. a hard headed homie at one point in the time. You feel me? But one thing I don't want to do, I don't want my homies to crash out like if something happened, that was my fault, my nigga. But don't don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So right. shout out to M Rec and the whole Rec Mar, big jersey in the house. No Peace. doubt, my brother. Peace. Shouts to Jersey. Most definitely. I'm going to just say this, man. It's a trend because we're getting a lot of these young brothers out here, man, that's getting this money at such a young age, and they don't understand steps of life. You know what I'm saying? They get bigger than life, and they expect everything to be right there at their footstep. And they get in this trouble. Don't want to leave the street life alone, man. You're a, you're a millionaire, bro. Take that money. Buy you some land. Buy some businesses. Employ people and stay away from the bull because the bull go come. Well, you know let, let, let me say this. Learn. Let me say this. Um, are you referring to Little Dirt, a billionaire? Or are you talking about Diddy? Or are you talking about another situation? I mean, Dirk and Diddy. Okay. Period, man. So some, I, some people get bigger than life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When people never tell them no. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So they had that kind of complex running around in this in this world. You know what I'm saying? And not understanding there's consequences to things out here, man. As soon as you get on top, you better know it's somebody in the back waiting for you to mess up to pull you back down. You Already, feel me? That's a fact. That's a fact. But I appreciate you calling, my brother. Salute. Let's get it, Will. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do a 30 seconds. I'm going to say like this. Uh, King Vaughn and Dirk and all them Chicago boys, they was getting busy for a long time. And uh, I think that whole this whole Islam and giving back and, and trying to mend peace and all stuff, I think his spiritual, his spirit was catching up to him. Mm. I think when Vaughn died and his brother died, I think a lot of it was weighing on him spiritually. And I knew his karma was coming. There's no doubt he was getting busy with them boys. If he didn't do it physically, he had his hand in it somewhere. He had to be. He got the money. Everybody looking at him. He got the money. He the big dog. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely got trickled down all the way to the dudes in the street. But all this is karma coming back to him. So he knew it was his time. So I guarantee if you ask him, he knew his time was almost up. But, hey, I, I, I hope good luck to him and Diddy. But I'm out. No doubt, good brother. Salute. Yo, what up? What's going on, good brother? Let's get it. Talk to me. Man, look, I ain't trying to sound like no hater or nothing, bro. But, hey, look. They they right where they need to be at, man. Mm -hmm. People out here dying every day trying to trying to trying to you know what I'm saying make some shape, mm -hmm. trying to just touch a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. These folks got millions of dollars, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying they they just throwing away. So I feel like look when 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 Ooh. when God send you a blessing, and and you turn into a curse, this what happens. He unfortunately he 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 sold his people out. You know what I'm saying to you know to do bad things and and this this this, this what this. This will come with it, man. No doubt. Let's get it. First, I want to say, you know, um, unfortunately, a lot of these brothers are not listening to what's going on out here. And they trying to really live their raps or they're just trying to prove a point or they just don't know when to let it go. You know what I'm saying? This whole situation is messed up because at the end of the day, you know, King Vaughn was wrong. He stole off on Quando Rondo. And his man did what he had to do. Unfortunately, he lost his life. But now you done took one wrong and made another wrong. And now oh, for one person's actions, one, one person lost his life. Another dude is almost paralyzed. And now another five people are going to jail. Little pal died. You know, sometimes when we in the streets, when your man is wrong, you just got to let it go right there and move on. Too many mm -hmm. times, even though we know when our own man is wrong in something, 
we try to avenge a wrong situation. And, you know, poison begets poison. It just, it just spreads the virus. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And sometimes people just got to sit there and hold each other accountable. And that's something as a lot of dudes in the street, they don't do. They don't hold a man accountable, you know, regardless to what the situation, gotcha. I don't have a dog in the fight, mm -hmm. but if your man is wrong and he took an L, you just got to move on from that. No doubt, you know what I'm saying? Man. Because he, he was hitting Rondo. Rondo's man, you know, did what he had to do. If the tables were turned, everyone would have been praising Vaughn and him. But mm. because it didn't work that way, now look what happened. And mm. and the last part, you know, I don't know mm. if the dude told or not or if he wore a wire or not. The only allegedly. thing that... Allegedly. Allegedly. Mm. The mm. only thing that I just don't like in 2024 is just a lot of people throw things on people's name without having mm -hmm. proof, you know, I, I don't know if he did. I don't know if he didn't. That's not the main reason mm -hmm. for my point. My point more is, is when are we going to stop just throwing things out there without mm -hmm. being a hundred percent sure? No and doubt. that's all I got to say. So look, I did chime in the feds and I knew this shit was going to happen. As soon as they gave Dirk the key to the city, I called this shit. I said, you mm -hmm. know, they gave this nigga the key to tear the fur off his ass. Pardon me for cursing. So, like I was saying, they gave Dirk the key to the city just to set him up. Mm -hmm. So, look, it's a whole lot of more indictments coming for rappers. Watch this. I'm telling you this. I've done nine years in the federal penitentiary. Mm -hmm. There's mad rappers, Jay-Z, uh, all of them. They're going to be picked up real soon. Trust mm -hmm. me. OG Wine, everybody. Mm -hmm. They got a whole indictment coming for a whole bunch of rappers. P. Diddy is not the only one going down. It's, it's about to be a whole bunch of people. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't send Dirk them to MDC. Mm. No doubt. All right, good brother. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, bro. Salute. Yo, no doubt. Yo, Rack, good to meet you. Yo, Sky Free from Jersey, yo. Likewise, honestly, man. I, Great meeting you, good brother. Salute. Yeah. I, honestly, I feel like touching back on something bro said before, man. I feel like it is kind of like an open season right now on all the... Uh, on all the top black celebrities out there, like the uh, like uh, like the hip hop culture is kind of under attack right now. Granted, maybe a lot of them maybe had got caught up in some things they did for themselves, but it just seemed like a complete destruction of like the golden era right now. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And now like like Dirk and them represent the youth's golden era. You got all their legends is gone, so now the last one was gone. Feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like it's it's kind of spooky right now. It's kind of weird. Like they coming for all the top influential people to the black culture. So it's like, yo, if you if you're out there and you're in the hip hop community, you are in your position of influences, you gotta kinda watch yourself, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, my brother. Appreciate you tapping in. Okay, Shiny, let's get it. Talk to me. So I just think that this is the most unfortunate, sad situation. But I will say that I didn't see this coming. Mm. Um just because so many people, especially his fans, was supporting the fact that he should go slide and go do all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like the feds, the industry, and the people that he deals with on an everyday basis, mm. get you some real people in your corner. Mm. For one, the feds are going to think, and the industry is going to think, you just a porch monkey. Mm. All you're supposed to do is entertain and just sit down in the corner and do we, as we say. There's nothing wrong with going corporate. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with getting your money and going to go sit down. But he wants to be a gangster. I don't know what the what is the stigma with wanting to be a gangster, having millions of dollars, and having a family to support. Mm. It does not. It does not all go together. It does not coincide. Mm -hmm. So you have a wife now. She's going to be out here all alone. You have your kids that you have to take care of. Who's going to take care of the kids? And he's not putting his family first because he want to slide and do all this other thing. The dead is dead. You can't do nothing about that anymore. Mm. So the it's just, I hope that if he does get out the situation, he leaves the people behind like what Chief Key did. Chief Key got his money and got the heck out the way, which was a smart thing to do because okay. he can't, he's not tied into no, no street mess or nothing like that. But this is what happens when you want to live this life. 
Mm. And this is this is what goes on. You're taking penitentiary chances. It's so popular music. I'm taking penitentiary. This is not good. Nah. <laughs> this is not what you want to teach your kids to do. You have sons. Who's going to teach your son that he, it's okay to go and be a lawyer, to be a doctor, to be someone in, 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 in America that is, is upright? There's nothing wrong with being that person. That's a fact. Man, that's but a great assessment. Shiny. This music. This mm-hmm. music is, is is now now what's happening with drill music. I hope it's done. Mm-hmm. I hope it's finished. It's over with. I mm-hmm. hope it because so we can have a whole new slew of music that comes in and make these these guys think about their lives. Because look at what's happening, Diddy, Thug, now mm-hmm. him. It's over. Mm. Now you have to think and use your brains. Now that's a fact. Shiny. That's all I wanted to say. I appreciate you. Great assessment. All right, peace. Let's get Ooh. it. Lines is on fire. <laughs> The lines is so the lines is going so stupid. Uh, run the lights up. Um, I got two one six on the line. State your name, where you call it from. Make sure you share this live. Make sh- hold on one second. My bad. Hold on. Make sure hey, you. I just want to say something to everybody that's listening right now, man. I I don't want everybody to mm-hmm. get confused with everything that's going on because I know everybody be getting caught up in the who killed what and who did this and all this and that, man. This is stemming from two men not having their emotions together, man. Mm. NBA young boy, the crash out, King Vine, the killer, arguing over a girl, which lead to Lil Tim having to kill him, mm. and then it lead to Lil Dirk putting the head out. That's that's what all this is, man. Mm. Don't 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 get this shit confused, man. Everybody need to get their emotions together, man. Mm. It's, it's that shit is so important that you ain't running around here. Emotional, man. That's uh, all I want to say, man. No doubt, good brother. Salute. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. What if someone wasn't on protocol? There are consequences. And floss on front street, the hawk a tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. Damn. You the main vic, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. Peace, world. If you looking to promote and advertise your business or your brand on MREC TV, or you interested in becoming a sponsor and to be featured as a guest on a Backstories podcast, contact MREC TV submissions at gmail.com. That's M R E C K T V submissions at gmail.com. Peace. MREC TV.